Listen, someone's got to try all the M&S Christmas picky bits for the year and I'm going to take one for the team. They were on three for four, so I got a selection for science, obviously. So here's the taste test. We got too excited. They were way too hot, but the first pigs in blankets of the year hit different. These were an easy five out of five. Next up were these mini burgers. These were really flavoursome and just a crowd pleaser. They come with brioche buns and burger sauce. We gave them a four out of five. I would have loved m &S to give like little pieces of cheese. cheese. Mm, I thought like, cheese. The Patatas Brava stacks had a good texture. The hash brown at the bottom was nice and crispy and they had a bit of a kick in my opinion, but I am a wimp with spice. But the garlic sauce was quite overpowering. So they scored a three out of five. Prawn toast is always a winner for me. And these are kind of like prawn toast sandwiches. They're so tasty. You can really taste the spring onion and ginger, but I wasn't a huge fan of the sweet chili sauce. It was quite vinegary. So we went with a four out of five. Smoked salmon appetizers. I didn't love the sound of salmon mousse, but these were good actually. Smoked salmon just gives Christmas, doesn't it? Charlie loved them. I thought they were pretty good, so we agreed on a four out of five. I'm just more of a hot food person, I think, especially at this time of year. Halloumi in blankets. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to the most. It's halloumi wrapped in bacon with a hot honey sauce, and it absolutely banged. It was very salty, but you would expect that. In the oven, it looked really wet, but that just meant it was nice and gooey. It wasn't as spicy as we thought. We gave it a four out of five. These crisp duck spring rolls were a dark horse they're a bit basic but i feel like they're quite easy to get wrong these were the best duck spring rolls i've had in years the sauce was delicious we both gave it a solid five out of five We'd never had Thermidor before, so we got these prawn Thermidor cups. It says prawn and Thermidor sauce, but I don't know what that means, with a cheddar crumb. It was very fishy and rich and cheesy. I enjoyed it, but it's all a bit too much faff for me, so I'd give it a three out of five. Last year's favourite is back, the mini chicken Kievs. They're so garlicky and delicious. The chicken tastes lovely. The breadcrumbs are the perfect level of crispy. They're just reliable, aren't they? Five out of five. The brie and cranberry tartlets are so gooey and the sweetness of the cranberry is a nice change from all the savoury. They'd work really well on a cheese board, I think. Charlie gave them a four because they're so rich, but I think it's a five. Best presentation award goes to Scampi and Chips in newspaper cones. So cute. The scampi was delicious and the tartar sauce was great, but the chips were a bit floppy. They could have done with longer in the oven, so four out of five. Finishing up on these mini steak sandwiches, it's a sourdough crostini topped with steak, caramelised onion, bechamel mustard sauce and crispy onions. Stunning flavours, but a little bit too sweet. So it's four out of five and we're done.